Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've ever done a get ready with me video and I always see other YouTubers doing it and I think it's so cool. I'm getting ready. Nowhere really to go, just staying here at home. We're gonna be moving and we gotta pack. I like putting makeup on. I don't really put makeup on on the daily just to give my skin some breather and I honestly don't have time to do it in the morning. So I just got out of the shower, washed my hair. I know, I'm telling you, I don't think any of these other YouTubers have towels in their hair, but I think it's a good look. So I put this on my face. This is a moisturizer. It's very good. And then I put some of this. There we go. I actually ran out of um, eye cream. And I've been using this. It's not really eye cream. It's like a correcting concealer concentrate. I usually put some tinted moisturizer. And this light is making me look so pale. Like if I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Anywho, I live in Miami and I'm the whitest person here and I don't put self tanner, not because of anything, I'm just lazy. Um, so I've been using this with a little bit of, um, a little bit of tinted moisturizer, that's what I said. All right, so now on to hair. I kind of just wrap it in this towel right after I get out of the shower. So this is kind of what I've been putting in my hair, this L'Oreal Sulfate Free repair and defend lotion. It's also really good for when you go on the beach or in the pool. It's really good to keep it like against all that horrible crap. Um, oh, and this Unite. I actually got it from another blogger whose hair is like super blonde and beautiful. Um, I'll put it right here, Otest Style. I'm probably butchering it again. Like I've said this before in my sorority. My nickname was like, I can't pronounce it, or something like that, so I can't pronounce it. I didn't get the nickname for nothing, guys. So she has beautiful hair, and um, I actually got my um, shampoo and that oil from her recommendations, and I have to say that my hair has been feeling really great. So I've got like a little setup here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Can you guys see? I know. You would think I'm like some beauty blogger or something, which I'm not. I am going to put, what am I gonna put today? So, you know what, I'm just gonna put this on. I think this is Tom Ford, Illuminating Primer. I'm just gonna put some of this on. By the way, my mom has always taught me, like, when you put stuff in your face, to dab it. And like, don't ever go like this on your skin. I see like some girls that are like beauty brothers do that. And I'm like, oh my God. But whatever. I'm not a beauty blogger, so I'm not gonna be talking about makeup that much. Just wanted to get on here and just talk to you guys as I'm getting ready. I think it's a fun way to do that, just blabber. Like I do. This is just some green correcting powder. I have a pimple that I was dumb enough to um, pop. You know, when you just want to pop them and you're like, yeah. So I just popped it and it's never gone away. This is from the dollar store, so it's probably not the best. I got it. It was on the line to get some Christmas stuff that I needed, like some Christmas um, decorations. And I was like, why not? Just spend money to spend money, right? I want to say that Bloggers and influencers, um, I feel like they get really, really, they really take their stuff like to heart in the sense that they think that everyone's out to get them. Oh, by the way, I just put some of this on my hand. Dry, what is it, dry elephant? It has something to do, drunk elephant. Maybe it has something to do with an elephant. And then this Yves Saint Laurent, um, it's like a primer, a CC primer with sunscreen. I sometimes use it instead of um, tinted moisturizer. I kind of have realized that 
you know, in this world, it can be nice. People are just not nice. And they think that you're out to get them and like take their secrets and no. Like if I want to do a collab with you, it's just to do a collab with you. I don't, I don't want your secrets and your, you know, inner darkest secrets and, and steal all your, your blogging stuff. No. Like what happened to being friendly nowadays? I guess no one's friendly, honestly. And there's so many mistakes that I've done which I can't even believe that I'm saying this, but I don't know, I guess like 2019 has given me the truth spell. I, I bought followers. Yep, I did. So sue me. I bought followers when I first started, which is kind of the reason why I had to switch over to a new Instagram, guys. Because I did not have the right people guiding me, basically. I, I'm a very impatient person, which is funny why like I choose fitness versus like the, the thing that you have to have the most patience with, but yet I'm the most impatient person. So it's it's really it's really mind-boggling to me. But um I reached out to like a whole bunch of people, you know, they have like how to grow your Instagram, how to get more followers, blah blah blah. On Udemy. Udemy? You Udemy? Udemy? whatever that thing they told me they're like yeah buy some followers it's not gonna hurt you it's actually gonna like help you because if you're gonna be up there and brands and stuff are gonna want to work with you well guess what it does hurt you because you get flagged by instagram i didn't buy a lot i don't even remember how many i bought let's do this one tart creaseless concealer, but I do think it gives me creases. Just saying. Um, it did not help. Nope. It did not help me in the slightest. It was a lot of robots. You know, you have like all these followers and your likes are like at 50. Why? Because Instagram flags you. Not only do they flag you, but then you get like, you're like lost in the shuffle. Um, and nobody sees you. You know what? It doesn't matter if people, yeah, they were following me great. Like I was getting all these new followers and stuff, which is how I got to like, I don't even know, I got like 19,000 at the time. But I wasn't even being seen. Just some coconut water to this this because I don't have a, a sink and I'm lazy to get out. I know. My husband says I'm the laziest, fittest person. That's not an oxymoron. Which I just did this retarded because I usually put my eyeshadow before my concealer. Oh well, uh, I just got so like amped up. So it actually does not help you in the slightest. And I was like asking people, hey, are you seeing anything? Are you seeing anything? And nothing. And as hard as it was, like some people were telling me, no, don't do it. You know, it's gonna be so hard to grow your following again because of the algorithm. And yeah. But you know what? I feel like it's such a liberation and I'm like, I'm free, I'm honest. These are my honest people now. Like, I don't even care how long it's gonna take me. I just want like honest, true following and people that really care about whatever crap I have to say. I have like the biggest potty mouth, which I think I got it. I sound like a trucker. Uh, some NYX matte powder foundation, which I don't think it's like my color. I know I'm really white, but I hate putting on foundation that's as white as me. <laughs> I like it a little bit darker because it's not, I like, I just look cool. Well, I'm gonna just bring it down to my neck. Cover it up here. Again, this is not like going out or anything, photo shoot type. This is just being at home, being really cool in my mouth. My lips are kind of dry. Um. So yeah, I mean it sucks because my new account, like I can't do the swipe up, which is kind of annoying. Um, I There's like a lot of things that you can't do because you're not like up there. But man, I'll have it any day instead of, you know, the fake crap that I, that I had and 
like brands and stuff or noticing it and I just didn't want to get that reputation. So don't buy followers no matter how much they tell you like buy followers. It's not gonna harm you. It's gonna harm you. Don't do it. Don't do it at all. I've done so many of these courses of like how to get followers, how to get like insta like figure out the algorithm, figure out this. You guys, I have probably spent like ten thousand dollars on this. And to tell you the truth, it has me more confused than I was in the beginning because I've done so many of these courses and it's like everything that they say, it's overwhelming and I don't even know what direction to go to. So it's like, what do I say? What am I doing? It's like, oh my gosh, that's why you've probably seen like I've changed my stuff a couple times. But you know what I told myself? 2019, I said, you gonna do you, boo boo. Yeah, you gonna do you. I'm not gonna listen to anybody more I'm not gonna do like be more salesy be more this be more that you know what I'm gonna go back to why I even got on damn Instagram it's I'm just gonna sell my story I'm not gonna sell it as like anybody I'm just a trainer here I have knowledge I got my certification I went to school I did this I did that and you know what I just want to give it to you that's it I love like you know I would love to help you because that's like who I am and I love to help clients like every time I get a new client and they're like you've changed my life that that's that's why I do it that's exactly why I do it Laura Monsieur Monsieur Mercier I'm gonna give out information that I know people need and that I wish that I had when I started and that's it because that's another thing you kind of forget that not everyone has been into fitness like you have for all these years so you kind of got to go back to when you started. I take this for granted, but so-and-so doesn't know. Like, you know, take BCAAs. To me, that's like every day. There's some people that don't know that. Like, little things like that. Even like, you know, eat before working out or do your heart rate. Like, measure your heart rate. That's the only way you're going to be able to lose fat. Like, all these things that you take for granted that other people don't know. And that's kind of what I want to do. So yeah, I've done so many like, I'm not gonna mention people because they're kind of well known for it, but honestly, I feel like they just took my money. Yeah. I mean, maybe it does work for somebody else, but for me, I don't know. Maybe. And then the thing is that it gets you down in the dump because you're kind of like, am I like stupid? Do I not? understand things am I not able to read like what is wrong with me why are things not happening and it's because you're all over the place Monica be you be you and if I'm all oh um Anastasia Grab was which I think I bought a really dark color because the lady that used to do my hair and makeup I believe this is the one she used but because it was hers but I think I could do it on a shade lighter Okay, honestly, I don't know how these beauty bloggers do it because I cannot put my makeup looking into this camera. I can't see. Okay, hold on. Whoa, you guys can like totally see up my boogers. Well, I'm doing the line out, which I totally messed up. I used to do pageants and I never thought it was like excellent, but in Miss Florida, you couldn't take, um, you couldn't take someone to do your makeup, a makeup artist. You had to do it all on your own. So I kind of learned a little bit and I feel like I used to be better when I was in pageants. But you lose practice because I used to be doing makeup all the time. But now that I don't, I'm always at the gym, training clients, whatever. I don't like to wear makeup all the time. I'm not saying that I think I'm gorgeous. <laughs> like that I really am not and every time that I try to be like that I think you've all noticed and it just seems so fake you know what I mean like I've had I'm gonna be honest I've had like some challenges and stuff that no one signed up for and I feel it's because I 
I'm not a salesperson. If I would have been a salesperson, I would have become like a car dealer, dealer or like a realtor and I would have made so much more money. But I'm not, like that's not who I am. I just want to be real. And I think that's what my clients, the clients that I do have, like I think that's what they like. I'm real, I'm honest. This is me, I'm like crazy, bubbly, like out there, whatever, but it's me. And that's why Whitney, I don't know her personally, I would love to, but Whitney, she like gives out information there for free and it's amazing. Like that is what we need more of in this world. Not like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna tell you how to eat a piece of an uh, apple and uh, oh crap, my camera's gonna die. And I'm gonna charge you for it. No, why is it gonna be like that? So really quick guys, because my camera's gonna die. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this Armani uh, blush. It's very neutral. Can you tell? Again, this is like a no makeup look with makeup. And um, there's like, I never really shared some stuff with you guys. I think I am. I was gonna share it on this video, but now this is dying, so I can't even do that. But like, steroids my thoughts on that. Um, did I do it? Yes, I did. I was on steroids. And do I regret it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I regret being on anabolic steroids. What did I take? I took Winstrol and I took Anabar. Why? Because back in the day when I would compete, you had this mentality of like, you don't care what you put in your body. It's just what you want it to look like. It doesn't matter if you put all these chemicals and all this other crap in your body. You just want to win. You want to do whatever. You realize that everyone else is doing it, so why not you? So it's like peer pressure and stuff, which, you know what? It's my thing. I could have had the balls to not do it, so I'm not going to blame anybody else. Because I chose it. I Nobody put a gun to my head. I chose to do it. And you know what? I really shouldn't have. I'm, it was the worst thing ever. I feel like I'm doing... I'm feeling the side effects now a little bit. Like I'll drink coffee, my heart races a little bit. I am a hypochondriac, to be honest. But um, by the way, I just put some uh, Um, But yeah, it's, it's not good, it's not good. And to tell you the truth, this is something that I've never ever shared, like not even with my family. I had to lie because it was so, so humiliating, but while I was on the steroids, I had just started and um, I actually, it's, it got me super swollen. I was on a diet, doing everything, but it got me super swollen. So obviously my body was not reacting well to it and I did not realize this. I went to New York specifically for a photo shoot for a magazine that I got booked. I went, I got my makeup done, I did everything, hair, did you know the tryouts, whatever. They kicked me out in the middle of the photo shoot, guys. That was the most humiliating thing that I have ever gone through. And they're like, your look doesn't fit. They're basically telling me that I'm fat. I never said anything. I pretended like I'm well, whatever. No, they kicked me out because I was too fat. And I was depressed. Yeah, I was a little depressed. Um, and I was hurt. Honestly, I just blew up and it was all because I put that shit in my body. Which was my fault. And I didn't even stop after that. Like, I kept on like saying, no, 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 this is just like, I'm about to get my period, whatever. Point being is that I think I took it for like another couple weeks and then I was like, you need to stop. You, you need to stop doing this, you know? Not many people knew that I was doing it um, because obviously it's not something that you just scream to the world. It's not good, guys. It really... It was not a, it was a poor decision on my heart. And it's funny because I don't even drink alcohol. Like, I've never done drugs, I've never done all, like, I don't drink, I don't like the taste of it, but I go and put steroids. Like, how dumb can you be? Whew, well that felt good getting it out of my chest. I had never shared that before, and um, I just did. Look at that. Oh, and I also got lip fillers. I don't know if I ever said that. I think I did on the time that I did my um, my under eye, which I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. 
honestly. I feel like I don't really need it. I'd rather do my Botox. Um, that I do need because your girl's 30. 32? Man, let's forget, 32. So, you know, the wrinkles do start to get real. Well, anyways, um, these are the two lipsticks that I put. Bought these like at Walgreens. Um, yeah, they're not in focus, are they? I think they're like, what are they? Milani. And it's number 25 and number 26. Kind of just mix them up there. And my battery's just gonna die. It's like literally screaming at me inside of this thing. Oh, and my teeth are dirty. Um, so I will talk about anything on the honest train. You guys, I know the sugar and the diet and all this, but I can't give up my Cuban coffee. Like, I just can't. I do fit it into my macros, though, at least. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, not a makeup artist, but I thought it was cool. I always wanted to do one of these, and um, if you guys like it, let me know, because it's fun. Um, and being truthful was really a relief. Like, I felt like you guys were my therapist. <laughs> All right, guys, I wish you the best, and I will talk to you in the next